Okay, all right. Hey, Shante, who we got coming in here now? Oh, that's Talia. Talia is uh, one of the most inspirational people I know. She's the reason why I'm here. She's, you know, my mentor, and she's younger than me, but I look up to her. She has taught me a lot uh, this season, this year, and she's one of the reasons why my daughter is still here. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I'm guilty. There you go. Well, I guess we'll <laughs> pass the baton off here, huh? <laughs> All right, Talia, how are you today? I'm fine, how are you? Very good, good. Um, give us a little bit about your cheer background. Um, well, I cheered when I was in high school. I cheered all four years, ninth through 12th. Um, we had a competitive, a little competitive team, nothing like what we do here, but we, I competed there. And I did one year at Alabama State, and then I danced every year after that. Oh, that's so. great. Good deal. How long have you been with Ellenwood? This is my sixth, going on seventh year. Wow. Yeah. yeah so you you're one of the mainstays here, huh? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, a lot of good, lot of good times I see by all the trophies and the yeah. banners. Oh yes, I when I first came, I didn't quite understand what I was getting myself into, but as the years progressed, I was like, oh, this is just wow. Yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah, well, I get a pretty impressive program here. Yeah. Now I understand that you coach a variety of teams here. I do. Anywhere from the tinies all the way up through juniors. Correct? I do. Wait, I which teams do you coach? Tinies, mini two. Youth 2 and Junior 1. Wow, busy, busy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. Um, what's kind of, what's some of the, I guess the differences, that there's, I guess obviously there's different challenges, different rewards, so to speak. I mean, what's different about teaching like a tiny group as compared to a junior group? Well, the tinies are ages 4 and 5, so repeating yourself a lot happens there, whereas with the junior girls, they're old enough, I'm like, hey, stop, get set, don't move. And it's like they won't move, and then you have the little busybody tiny that just you get, they can't sit still for five minutes. <laughs> so I repeat myself a lot with the younger girls, as opposed to with the older girls. I don't have to repeat myself as much, but the the younger girls <laughs> are a bit more afraid of me than the older girls are. <laughs> so they're like, "Oh man, it's Coach Talia." Where the older girls are like, "Oh, it's just, just Coach Talia, but we'll do it anyway." <laughs> other than that, that pretty much catch everybody part, kind of the same. That's good, good. You guys got such a, um, a, a really like a stringent approach here. I mean, as far as, I mean, you guys got them marching. You guys got, got them oh, coming yes. in in line. I mean, they are, I mean, you got them by the book. I mean, they are, they, they, they it's yes sir, no sir around here. Oh, yes. It is good. So um, kind of go into that a little bit as far as, you know, how, how we guys get that kind of discipline out of them. Well, most of the discipline starts at home, but when we are at competitions, I always let them know that you are a representation of, first and foremost, your parents. You wouldn't want to do anything to embarrass your parents. You wouldn't do, want to disrespect me because you don't disrespect your parents. So when I'm asking you to do something, look at it as your parents saying, hey, do this. You want to tell your mom no. So I'm an adult. I... Me personally, I demand my respect. So when we're out in public, they understand that we are a representation of our gym. We don't want to make our gym look bad. We don't want to give our gym a bad name. So in their minds, it's okay, look polished, look clean, look good. So mm -hmm. when we are out in public and someone says, oh my goodness, like we that's how we draw others in. Look how good they are. Look how disciplined they are. I want my child to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that we keep that instilled in the kids all right one last question what's one of the the biggest positives and the, one of the biggest joys you get out of coaching oh my gosh the kids mm -hmm. it's it's honestly all for the kids I, I love kids and I just had a child myself so I didn't understand my love for kids as much as I do now because I have my own child but I love the kids and having kids come in and hug you and be so overjoyed to see you every day is so it's so fun I love doing this it's so fun. I had a child tell me that I was their role model. I was just, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I, everything, I do all this for them. That's great. Well, thanks so much for your time. Oh, no problem. Thank you.